So it's true that the UK is really strong at weather and climate science uh, and the whole UK academic community and the Met Office, partly because we use all the same modelling tools, we really punch above our weight. Um, we're very integrated with the European community, which is also very, very strong in Germany and France and Spain and Italy, for example, and the Nordic countries. Um, we participate in pan-European projects. So a question over Brexit will be whether UK scientists continue to have access to those pan-European projects. And I sincerely hope that we do, because I think we get uh, a lot out of them. Um, another area where we collaborate in Europe, of course, is through the European Centre, and Brexit won't affect that. So the European Centre is based at Reading, and it provides uh, additional weather forecasting capability and research tools, and that will be unaffected by Brexit. So it's kind of a mixed bag here. I think the final thing I would say is that um, climate science is a truly global science and we've got collaborators all over the world, including Australia, South America, Southeast Asia. And um, there are new funding streams that the government has put into place to actively encourage collaboration with some of these countries. And that, so that's actually building additional new capabilities and partnerships, which is very welcome. I mean, an additional potential effect of Brexit is on the enthusiasm of uh, staff to move, uh, scientists to move across Europe and into the UK. 20% um, of the scientists in the Met Office are from overseas. And uh, we are trying to offer them every assurance we can that, of course, they're very welcome and uh, their efforts are very warmly appreciated, both in the UK and the Met Office specifically.